Here's your daily updates. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi and thanks again everybody. You're looking at something called a trumpet vine. Sometimes it's called a trumpet creeper and for very good reasons. Now before we get into the really nasty aspects of this plant, let's talk about why people would even plant it in the first place. It is notable for its showy trumpet-shaped flowers. It's a native of riverbanks, but it's being planted by many people because it's a perennial. They love the trumpet plant because it attracts hummingbirds. The trumpet vine is so hardy that hummingbirds often build their nests in them. One very visible aspect of the plant are large, low-hanging seed pods, but when they dry and open, they send into the wind hundreds of far-flying fragile seeds. Okay, now the bad stuff. This plant is so vigorous that it puts out huge numbers of tendrils that grab onto anything, eventually expanding into heavy stems. When this plant gets out of control, it can smother fences and trees, crack driveways, and even rupture swimming pools. Kind of reminds you of kudzu. Kudzu is another creepy, crawly plant that's caused massive problems in the U.S. It was originally thought that it would be a positive kind of plant because it would stabilize the ground where there had been erosion. But it simply got out of control. On the positive side, it does hold soil together and livestock like it. Goats love it, but what don't goats like? Many baskets in Asia have been made over the centuries from the long, sinewy stems of kudzu. Now, the roots have so much starch that it can often be used for cooking and chemical experiments. But wherever kudzu grows, little else does, because kudzu starves out its neighbors. It was introduced from Japan into the U.S. at the Japanese Pavilion at a World's Fair in Philadelphia in 1876. It's now common along roadsides and undisturbed areas, particularly in the American South. Kudzu can spread over 200,000 acres a year. Boy, there's got to be a horror movie in here somewhere. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.